imagine, if you will, folks, a movie about a tire. A tire with psychokinetic powers that can kill things. How cool is that? And that is the basic concept behind today's movie, Rubber. Yes, Rubber, a true independent film brought to you by Quentin Dupont, starring uh, Stephen uh, Spinella, uh, Jack Plotnick, Wings Hauser, and a lovely Roxanne Mesquita, plus a few other folks you probably never really heard of or may have noticed on TV but never paid attention to their names. Now, yes, folks, Rubber is about a crazy psychotic tire with psychokinetic powers that can cause things to pop, explode, kill, whatever. Okay, but the movie's not just about that. As cool as that is, they also get into this kind of sub uh, plot story of a group of people in the uh, desert watching through binoculars the events that unfold for the tire going through. So they kind of represent the uh, uh, audience of a film watching a film unfold, okay? So it's kind of, uh, you know, there's some metaphor in here. It's a true independent film, which means it may not be for everybody. Now, I liken this movie as having the quirkiness and the kind of surrealness of being John Val Malkovich crossed with the goriness and the horror that was The Evil Dead. Okay, folks, that's how cool I think this movie really was. And for a number of reasons. One, the director, Quentin Dupont, does a fantastic job with something that really, really, really could come off boring, mediocre, and get tiresome. It never does. The director handles material very well and keeps you interested throughout and he does things so well that you you actually feel for the tire you feel for him. you actually can see characteristics in him and and behaviors and emotions from an inanimate object that's how cool the direction is in this and how they handle the subject now the cinematography adds to that. The cinematography in this was great. The shots that they did with the tire as it's rolling, uh, you know, the shots of the uh, audience of the desert, just, they've got some great framings, and they handle the camera work so well in this that, uh, you know, it just adds to it. It's a lot better than what you would think. For a low-budget, in, truly independent film that this is, you wouldn't think you'd get this quality of uh, shots in the cinematography and quality of direction, but you do. And then there's the acting. The actors actually put Put, they're all into it. They're behind this project. You can tell, yet they're having fun with it, but not going so over the top with it that, uh, you know, they're completely out of their characters. Now, there's kind of this unusual prologue in the beginning, which might take some people uh, aback a bit, but again, that just adds to the quirkiness of this film. Gore whores, you will like this film a lot, especially halfway through as the tire gets into full swing. <laughs> Sorry for the tire swing. Yeah, never mind. Uh, as he gets into full swing into his powers. Okay, folks. So you get the sub story with the, the with the uh, audience who at the you know Wings Hauser's in there. Who he's great. I love his character, the old man in the wheelchair, uh, who eventually play more of an integral part in the movie later on. And then you have the tire, the story of the tire. Now, of course, with it being a horror movie, uh, it does have an ending which can lead it for a sequel potentially. Which if the makers of of, uh, rubber are watching this at all please call the sequel rubber uh, retread subtitle it retread or rubber Two subtitle retread please that would just that would fit this type of movie and the you know just the style and what they're going for with this film which in the end really is to pick on the film industry uh, if you actually pay attention to it and the things they do but it's just a true independent film. You don't get a lot of these nowadays. So many independent films are so backed by big studios and big actors that uh, the true independent film gets lost. Well, let me tell you, someone in Hollywood, not in Hollywood, actually came up with a great idea that's a fun movie to watch if you're especially into horror and independent cinema. Okay, I had to give it four stubs for rubber. I I think you'll enjoy it too, especially if you like those types of films and looking for just something different in your filmmaking. In the season of remakes and sequels and rehash, it's refreshing and fun to see an original, yet not so original, movie like Rubber. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.